is there a supernatural dimension? A world beyond the one we know? Is there life after death? Do angels exist? Can our dreams contain messages from heaven? Can we tap into ancient secrets of the supernatural? Are healing miracles real? Sid Roth has spent over 35 years researching the strange world of the supernatural. Join Sid for this edition of It's Supernatural. Hello, Sid Roth here. Welcome, welcome to my world where it's naturally supernatural. Are you interested in a breakthrough in one or more areas of your life? I am. Well, my guest has been shown a way for breakthrough that I believe is an ancient way that God is restoring right now because when she prays this way that God instructed her, she has 100% breakthrough 100% of the time. I want to find out about this. How about you? I, I, I have to tell you, there is such a presence of tranquility as Julie Meyer plays the piano and sings. Uh, I, I have felt peace, but this is almost a, a, a different level of peace. Uh, the only word I can come up with is tranquility. And Julie, I think it has to do with your beginnings. You see, she had an alcoholic mom. And the only peace Julie could find is to go to her piano and just sing. And she wasn't even a believer in Jesus, but she knew hymns. And it would bring her such peace. And then, believe it or not, she met a pair of twins, the Roth, R-O-T-H, twins, no relation. And the Roth twins kept pestering her. You gotta you come to a Bible heads? study. She didn't want anything to do with it. But she said, if I win this state piano competition, I'll go. She did awful, but she won. She went, age 17, she becomes a believer, and she hasn't been the same since. But like a lot of 17-year-olds, she didn't like the way she looked. She didn't like the way uh, she played the piano. Uh, you are a pretty negative, period. I was very negative, yes, <laughs> towards myself. I know, I understand. Yes. And, and, uh, but you found something that supernaturally broke you through to be the person God wanted you to be. Tell me about it. Yeah, and that was in my 30s. So I spent a lot of time from 17 to 30 not liking me. Um, I had a lot of practice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I began to sing the word. I began to, I would take a psalm. I love the psalms. I would take a, a scripture, maybe just one or two, and I would just sing the Bible. And I would sing it three ways. I would sing it word for word. And then I would take the same two scriptures, it doesn't have to be a whole chapter, and I would turn it into a prayer, so it was just my prayer. And then I would sing it as if God were singing to me. That's a 100% breakthrough, 100% of the time when you did this, correct? It's my t it is my testimony. Can I hear like 30 seconds of you demonstrating this? Yes, I would take a scripture, you know, Psalms 116, verses 1 and 2. I love the Lord because he hears my voice and my cry. You bend down and listen every time I sing. If I'm going to turn it into a prayer, I'm singing, I love you, Jesus. You hear my cry. You see me right here, right now. And you bend down to listen and the best part is you prophesy it so I'm putting me in it and I'm singing it as if God were singing it to me Julie I hear your voice I hear you 
cry and I'm not too busy. I love your song. Just hold on, just hold on. I'm gonna answer you. You're gonna hear my voice. Just hold on, things are gonna change. Just listen, listen, listen. <laughs> Hallelujah. That is a prophetic okay. word for somebody today. <laughs> I, I, I agree. But I'm gonna tell you something. I cannot carry a tune, except if I pray in tongues, then I can carry a tune, but I can't. And I'm doing the same thing now. So if I can do it, you can do it. Now, Julie, there is a song that you sing called Healing Oil. I want to release you now to the piano to sing that song and minister to us. But I'm going to tell you something, that healing oil, you get ready you get prepared to just have it drip upon you. And wherever that oil goes, healing is going to go deep, deep inside of you, physical, spiritual, emotional, anything you need. Healing oil. And let your oil flow down. And let your oil flow down just as a river flows into the sea oil flow into me right here right now into me Sweet like honey as it tenderly flows Washing over me, dripping into my soul I'll stay in your presence, I'll never let you go I'll just keep asking, let your own
We'll be right back to It's Supernatural. When people worldwide hear Julie Myers worship, they sense God's supernatural tranquility that brings emotional and physical healing. Call now and get Julie Myers' prophetic Dreams and Encounters package, which includes her powerful book, Dreams and Supernatural Encounters, and her two anointed audio CD worship albums, God is Alive, and her brand new soaking album, Come and Drink, exclusive only to It's Supernatural, a total of 24 songs. Yours for a donation of $40. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9262. Through her two audio CD worship albums, the atmosphere of heaven will come right into your room, wherever you play them. People who have listened to Julie's music report that they have been physically healed, released from despair and emptiness, delivered from demonic activities and addictions, healed of sleep disorders, sensed the glory and presence of God, received an impartation of heavenly dreams and visions. Dressed in white. Julie, in her brand new book, Dreams and Supernatural Encounters, shares practical teaching on how to continually encounter God, imparts a powerful understanding of the invisible realm, reveals her prophetic dreams and encounters that captures the heart of God for this moment in history. As you read, you will experience God's overwhelming presence. Julie shares prophecies from God concerning future events about to take place on planet Earth. Don't miss out on getting Julie Myers' prophetic dreams and encounters package, which includes her powerful book, Dreams and Supernatural Encounters, and her two anointed audio CD worship albums, God is Alive, and her brand new soaking album, Come and Drink, exclusive only to It's Supernatural, a total of 24 songs, yours for a donation of $40. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9262. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth, It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9262. Or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. We now return to It's Supernatural. So, Julie, people, yeah, they see at the piano and they, they say, oh, she has got this glamorous life, but... Julie is a soccer mom. Her kids, she had identical twins. Talk about it. Very <laughs> busy. I'm sure. And even in that busyness, for four years, she, she heard about people that had dreams and visions, uh, but she wasn't having much. So she wanted it. So she prayed for four years in between soccer games. Why, why did you keep up? Why didn't you just give up? Well, in, in 2000, uh, I, I, I just remember the day I was sitting at my piano and I was singing scripture. Uh, it was when my kids were at school. I was singing Revelations 4.1. Uh, you know, there is a door open in heaven. You know, come up here and I will show you things that must take place after this. And I knew it was for John, but something hit my heart. And I just said, I want this. I want it and I won't stop until I get it. And it was just a groan. I, it was just, it consumed me. I, I read, I knew Acts 2.17, it's a personal promise. And I just began to ask for it over and over. I want to see you on this side. You know, and I, I get to on the next side, but this side. Yeah, you know, I'm reminded with you of the promise in Ephesians. Uh, that you will get exceedingly abundantly beyond anything you ever asked or thought Amen. according to the power that dwells within you. Yes. That's what happened with you. She didn't just have dreams and visions. She actually was there. She was taken to these places. She felt it. She experienced it. But I recently had a guest on uh, one of my favorite people. Heidi Baker, yes. and you had the privilege of going to Mozambique to be with Heidi, and you were ministering there like you minister for us, 
and what happened? It was amazing. I simply, again, because I love the word, I began to sing. I just opened my Bible and I started singing from Revelations 1 where John sees, he turns around and he sees Jesus and he begins to describe, you know, what he looked like. I simply began to sing this portion of scripture uh, starting in verse 12 to 18 and suddenly, I mean, 100 percent not just to some people, the whole room, it was the harvest school, they were, every single person was caught up in dreams and visions. About how many people, approximately? Oh, maybe a couple hundred. It was full, and, and I remember I could, it, it lasted like three hours. I was, and I was just singing the word, and like the spirit of prophecy fell on the room, and people just began, we began prophesying over uh, different people, but, um, everyone was having dreams and vis or visions and encounters um, and they were laying out on the floor and I could hear moans and screams and laughter and all these different sounds. And I mean, the spirit of the Lord was there. It was an encounter. And the next day, the reports that I started getting in were, you know, people taken to heaven. The, the one that impacted me was a young girl and she had been taken to hell. People to were hell. having drink, they were having visions of heaven and hell, both. Mm -hmm. But this young girl was taken to hell and she saw her family in hell. And then she came back, I mean, then she was out of it and they brought her to me the next day. But what happened is what I felt from the spirit of the Lord. I said, I believe that the Lord is uh, putting his burden on you. Have you been praying for your family? Have you been praying for, no, she said she really hasn't, but she said, ever since I saw them in hell, she said, I, I'm gripped, I can't stop praying for their salvation. And I said, that's the purpose. That's the, it's not, it, your, your, your family isn't going. I don't believe that. But, but her heart got gripped with the burden of God to pray for salvation for her family. And when, when I said that, I said, this is the purpose. This is the point of the vision. That whole, the grief left her, but the burden stayed. Julie, you have so many songs that... I, I, I think it's unfair to even call it when you minister and sing at the piano songs. Uh, it's something, it's a dimension beyond that. Would you go to the piano right now? Because one of my favorite is Beautiful Healer. I'm going to believe that the Beautiful Healer is going to visit you right now. Many, many, many people will be healed while Julie plays and sings. Wonderful Savior, kind-hearted God, beautiful healer, merciful one. I 
rushing, rushing, flowing, flowing, flowing to me. Right back to It's Supernatural. If you love watching our It's Supernatural TV program, you can now watch hundreds of archive programs online, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, on your computer, your smartphone, your iPad, or your favorite tablet. ISN will be the vehicle to equip you to being normal. Normal as defined by the Bible. Just log on to SidRoth.org forward slash ISN. We now return to It's Supernatural. Julie, I heard you share about gotta get higher. And I have to tell you, I've been a believer many, many years but it impacted me, it convicted me, and it is necessary mentoring for you. Tell me briefly about it. Yeah, I had an encounter with the Lord. It was during our renewal services in Kansas City, and I was actually out for four hours. This was not a dream, it was an encounter. But I went down, and I, all of a sudden, two angels picked me up by my arms. And I could hear their wings. These had wings. And I could hear their wings going and, and both of them, they were saying, gotta get higher, gotta get higher, gotta get higher. And I could see like this open portal, like I could see what I would have thought Jacob might have saw. Hmm. And, uh, but I was hanging there and I was hanging there for a long time. And they kept saying, gotta get higher, gotta get higher. And in a dream or an encounter, you're still you. 
I don't know anymore. And in this, I turned around and I said, what's the problem? You're an angel. I'm not that big. I just didn't get it, you know? And, and suddenly this very large, like 30 foot, grabbed me from the back of my collar and pulled me up so I'm dangling right in front of his face. And he it's said, not it's not them, it's you. It's you. You've got, too, You've many got too many gates open. Your I'm mouth you. gate, your, your eye, eye gate, gate, your ear your gate, ear what gate. you say, what, what you, you say, listen to, what you, listen what you to. watch. If you want to go if up, you, you got to close the gates. And suddenly I heard bam, bam, bam. And I shot straight up into this portal. And that's where these angels were just having me eat the scroll, eat the scroll, eat the scroll, eat the scroll. But you know, can you see why I got convicted? And you know what? To be convicted, that's not the purpose. But to repent and change, that is the purpose. And it's daily. I mean, it is right. a daily thing. Now, Julie, you didn't have a particular burden for the Jewish people and the nation Israel. But something happened to you that changed it all. Tell us about it. I had a dream. And in the dream, Jesus took me and he said, I want you to meet my friends. And I was excited to meet friends of Jesus. And he took me right through the earth. And I remember when I got through, when we popped up through the earth, in this dream, I felt it and my skin was torn in two. And he wanted me to get this. He was looking in my eyes and he said, until your heart is torn in two like your flesh, you do not know my friends and these are my friends. And he kept saying, I want you to know my friends. If you know my friends, you'll pray for my friends. And I knew suddenly, as I looked around, I was in Jerusalem. And, 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 and I was walking with Jesus and I could see, I could see Yeshua. I could see his heart, his passion, his love for the Jewish people. But I could see at this time that they didn't care. And, 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 and the brokenness of his heart. And suddenly, in the dream, as we were walking, he began to look at certain people and he would simply nod like that. And suddenly, that nod, it was appearing in my glory, eye to eye and flesh to flesh. Suddenly, they saw him. And I could see this awakening that... They didn't believe in Yeshua, but suddenly they did. He revealed himself, and a, there was a large group of rabbis. They were praying at the, the wall, and he went up to this group, and he looked at the rabbis one by one, and suddenly they saw him. Suddenly they knew this is Yeshua. And, and they went up to their room in, in this dream, and I was following them in this dream. They went up to a high room, and they were saying, this changes everything. This changes everything. And I knew that the day was coming. The hour was coming when the rabbis of Jerusalem would go up to the mountain of the Lord and shout out, Yeshua is Messiah. Yeshua is Messiah. Yeshua is Messiah. And that is the dream, and I believe it. And I believe that now is that time. Now is the set time to favor Zion. Now the spiritual scales are coming off of the eyes of Jewish people. Matthew 25, 40 says, in the separation of goat nations and sheep nations, as you have done unto the least of these, my brethren, in the Greek, the word brethren means from the womb. As you have done unto these, the least of my brethren from the womb, the Jewish people, you have done unto me 
now is the set time for this favor for Zion. And favor does not come from the north or the south or the east or the west. It comes from the name of Jesus. And in his name, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus is the Messiah and Lord. And if you have not bowed your knee to the King of Kings, the Messiah of Israel, the King of the Jews, the Lord of Lords, now is the set time. You make Jesus your Lord. You confess with your mouth. I believe that Jesus died and rose from the dead. And because of his wounds, my sins are totally washed away. I am righteous. I am clean. And now that I am clean, Lord Jesus, come inside of me. Take over my life. I make you Lord of my life. I want to know you better. I want to love you more. I want my life to count. I don't want to be like that girl saw her parents in hell. I want to be in heaven, but I want to walk in heaven on earth. And the only way I can do that is to know you, make you my Lord, read the Bible and be true to you and love God and love my neighbor as myself. And I can't even do that without your help. Help, Jesus. When people worldwide hear Julie Myers worship, they sense God's supernatural tranquility that brings emotional and physical healing. Open up my eyes that I might see. Won't you touch me? Julie Meyer is like a modern day John the Revelator, having amazing encounters with God in the realm of the angelic and in prophetic dreams. Now she wants you to experience your own supernatural encounters with the Lord. Call now and get Julie Meyer's Prophetic Dreams and Encounters Package, which includes her powerful book, Dreams and Supernatural Encounters, and her two anointed audio CD worship albums, God is Alive, and her brand new soaking album, Come and Drink, exclusive only to its Supernatural, a total of 24 songs. Yours for a donation of $40. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9262. Through her two audio CD worship albums, the atmosphere of heaven will come right into your room, wherever you play them. I listen to it every morning, and it just transports me into the presence of God. The music carries a presence of the Lord. It carries a healing that the Lord would significantly begin to touch you, begin to heal you. People who have listened to Julie's music report that they have been physically healed, released from despair and emptiness, delivered from demonic activities and addictions, healed of sleep disorders, sensed the glory and presence of God, received an impartation of heavenly dreams and visions. Raise up a maiden dressed in white. Julie, in her brand new book, Dreams and Supernatural Encounters, shares practical teaching on how to continually encounter God, imparts a powerful understanding of the invisible realm, reveals her prophetic dreams and encounters that captures the heart of God for this moment in history. As you read, you will experience God's overwhelming presence. Julie shares prophecies from God concerning future events about to take place on planet Earth. Her book with visions that she actually experienced, walked into, you're gonna walk right into them. I promise you, this will become your favorite listening album, your favorite soaking album. Don't miss out on getting Julie Meyer's Prophetic Dreams and Encounters Package, which includes her powerful book, Dreams and Supernatural Encounters, and her two anointed audio CD worship albums, God is Alive, and her brand new soaking album, Come and Drink, exclusive only to its Supernatural, a total of 24 songs. Yours for a donation of $40. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9262. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222. Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9262 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. Next week on It's Supernatural. The book of Revelation is the key to the last days. You must understand it. My guest has invested 80,000 hours researching the scriptures 
and is considered a pioneer in understanding the Hebraic roots of the faith and putting the two together, you will understand the end time book for the Bible, the book of Revelation. Your gifts to this ministry will help Sid air It's Supernatural in Israel 28 times a week and distribute his evangelistic book to the Jewish people worldwide. 